Hi, Hiram here. Today I'm going to do a uh, test on a stove that I bought some time ago, quite a while ago, I forget exactly when. It's been in my collection. It's called the Vortec 1000. I bought this some time ago on eBay. Uh, it's a remote feed job, but the bottle that it came with was really kind of crappy. So I burned it a couple of times, but never did get around to doing a test on it. But what I did was I took one of my bubblers and modified it with a larger hose that it would fit on the feed to this. And I thought maybe I'd try it today. This is, unfortunately I got alcohol in it. Let's see if I can, I don't know if you can see down in there, but it's pretty much the same thing as, you know, like the x Light, except a little bit larger. Made from some sort of a can with a threaded top on it. He cut it off, stuck it down inside, rolled the edges. On the inside top edge, there are 10 jets on the inside and 10 jets that are slots on the outside. The slots are angled a little bit. They're about a third of an inch long. That comes out to about 0.86 centimeters. Uh -oh. So, you know, that's what happens. I picked the stove up so it fed alcohol, tried to feed alcohol back into the bubbler. My bad. Let me go right now and clean this up a little bit, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I'm back. I cleaned up the alcohol in case you're wondering how. I just put a match to it. I moved everything away and put a match to it. So now this has alcohol in the bottom of the container. It did come with a pot stand of sorts. I'll try that. So let me see about lighting this. Again, it's one that has to come to a bloom, so it's lit inside there. If I remember right, this took a little bit to get it going. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut here again, and I'll be back when I got a bloom. Okay, there you can see it's starting to bloom. Okay, big flame, not a clean flame, as you can see from all the yellow, but a flame. So I'll put the pot stand on. Here I have two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees, and let's see where this goes. Okay, here we are two minutes into the test, and the two cups of water are already up to 143 degrees. Big flame on this. Uh, not exactly clean. I mean, there's a lot of yellow, but there is some blue. It shows up more blue on the camera than it does my looking at it. But uh, this is going fast. So let's see where it goes. Here we have 210, 211, 212, and 357 it looked like. Huh, that is something. That's a huge flame. Even though it's not blue, it's huge. And that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, got to a full boil in 3 minutes and 57 seconds. I don't know if you can see it. The bubbler in the back, can you see the bubbles? I mean, it's just eating up alcohol like it's going out of style. There goes a bubble, there goes a bubble, there goes a bubble, there goes a bubble, there goes a bubble. I mean, it's eating it fast. That explains how it got hot so fast. Huh, so that's the Vortec 1000. It didn't work this good when I, it had a squeeze bottle thing that you're supposed to hang up from a branch or something. And frankly, that was, wasn't good. But with this uh, bubbler, boy, it's putting, I bet you could use that for, uh, you know, the big quantities of water that we were talking about, the, the quart and stuff. I mean, look at a flame on that. Let me turn the light out here. Now that's slits, not jets. I'm not sure that the jets on the inside are doing anything, but these slits on the outside, are, like I said, they're about a third of an inch long and slightly slanted. I never saw a, uh, a different burner with slits instead of uh, you know, jets, pinpoint jets. So that's something. I don't know if this is out anymore. I haven't seen it on eBay in quite a while. I do have the guy's 
a Gmail address, so maybe I'll try writing him and see if he still sells these. I even forget how much it cost me. It wasn't that much. But uh, it's called the Vortec 1000. If anybody else has used this, let me know. Or if you're the man that builds these. Uh, I have a name here, but I don't know if that's his name. Like I said, I think I'm going to contact him in, in Gmail and see what's up. This could be used, I guess, without the bubbler, just putting some alcohol in here. You'd have to plug up the inlet to see how much. It's hard to tell how much is being consumed by this unless I do a long test. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so that's the Vortec 1000. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature 50. No, it's gone up now. It's up to 54. The thermometer is just over here. Uh, two cups of water, 60 degrees, room temperature 50 at start, humidity 63, it's snowing out, and it brought the water to a boil in 3 minutes and 57 seconds. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.